Tonight, a trial in the Senate set to begin with House Republicans formally sending over articles of impeachment against Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas. The Senate has a clear obligation under the Constitution and 200 years of precedent. We need to hold a trial. Republicans accusing him of willfully refusing to comply with immigration laws, with a record 9.3 million migrant border crossings since President Biden took office. Mayorkas and Democrats call the charges baseless. Senate Democrats poised to quickly dismiss them. All of it as drama also builds back in the House, with Speaker Mike Johnson preparing to defy his most conservative House colleagues and call votes on a series of aid packages for Ukraine, Israel, and Taiwan. This despite running the risk conservatives may attempt to boot him from the speakership through what's called a motion to vacate. Johnson defiant. It is in my view, an absurd notion that someone would bring a vacate motion when we are simply here trying to do our jobs. It's the same threat that allowed a small number of Republicans joining with all Democrats to take out former Speaker Kevin McCarthy last year. It's going to happen. Though only a small group of Republicans seem open to another round of Speaker drama. And some Democrats have suggested that this time they are willing to help save a Republican Speaker. And I have the ability to table that, which would be to pour water instead of gasoline on this place, yeah, then of course that's what I'm going to do. Meanwhile, tonight, Johnson's path to pass that foreign aid package is far from perfect. He wants to call separate votes. The bills would have to go back to the Democratic Senate, where there is no guarantee they would pass. National security leaders in the House are imploring their colleagues to pass Ukraine aid this week, saying a classified briefing today revealed the need there is critical. Lester? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.